Hello YouTube, my south facing backyard exposes to the scorching California sunshine during the summer, which easily heats my deck floor to temperature that could burn my bare foot within seconds. So I decided to add a deck cover to provide some shade, and hopefully it will make my deck a little bit more useful. In order for deck cover to be upstanding above my deck, I've already poured a concrete for the posts, which will support my cover on the outside. So the other side of the cover will be attached to the stucco wall through a ledger board. In order to secure the ledger board on this side of the wall, I need to know where to anchor it. Those bolts cannot directly attach to the stucco wall or plywood siding behind it, because neither of them provide secure connection. Instead, the ledger board needs to be attached to the house framing. Fortunately, I still keep photos when the house was still under construction. So ideally, the ledger board will be mounted like this. And this is the roof structure. One way to secure the ledger board is to make use of those struts. However, those struts are just 2x4s. And the ledger board I'm going to use is half inch in diameter. Alright, so this is the ledger bolt I'm using to nail my ledger board onto the stucco wall. It's half inch in diameter, not inch in length. And it will go into the uh, stuck behind the stucco wall like this. You can compare the size. You know, this is a, a piece of 2x4, and the bolt is about half inch wide. So that means I have to draw a hole about a little smaller than half inch to get this bolt into this hood. So a 2x4 is actually one point half inch wide. So draw a hole about half inch wide is basically eating away one third of the material. I believe that will make the wood a lot weaker. Not to mention, I have so many studs, I have put those bolts into many of them and eventually they will make the whole structure a lot weaker. Um, not to mention, I don't have a good aiming that I can drill a hole right into this wood. After layers of stucco, layer of plywood, layer of wireframe, and still hit right the center of the wood. Most likely, I will miss it, or I will hit the side of it. In both cases, I believe will, you know, make the structure weaker. So, the solution is to put bolts where the green crosses are. However, as you can tell from this picture, those locations are hollow, which means there's no solid material behind the plywood. So, my solution was to squeeze in pieces of 4x4s to fill up the hollow space, so the ledger bolts will make its way into all solid materials. The bolts are long enough to thread through all these layers firmly attaching the ledger board to the house structure. And these are some examples from Attic of how these ledger bolts are threaded in. And this is the result. Well, not final result, because I was still on my way to finish the rightmost section of it when I took this photo. Stay tuned for my next video, Framing. Thank you for watching. Bye.